Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Game channel as we are continuing our first let's play of Victoria 3 and now we're playing as Japan. We moved on from the Japanese Shogunate at the end of the last episode and now we're working on the Meiji Restoration. And what do we have to do here? Well, the Emperor has made three major goals or has given us three major goals. First of all, industrialize Japan. This is the first thing that we'll have to do. It's to increase the urban center on 70% of the eligible Japanese states to level 5. And how do we do that? Well, if you take a look at buildings at, other, at the other section, there is urbanization level per building. So you can build industries. The early industries offer you a 20 urbanization level. Some of the later ones will offer you 30 urbanization per level. And even the rural buildings offer you, like for example, farms offer you plus five, mines offer you plus 10. The reason why is because it cr brings more people, right? The more farms you have, the better organized it is, then you'll have more people be working in the area or bring more industries, bring more resources, which requires more people, which creates bigger territories. So that is what we need to do. And we have, for example, here in Kansai, we have a level of 18. In our new capital, we only have a level 5, so we need to work hard on increasing our urbanization here it's this territory Hokkaido Tohoku and closer we have Shikoku and Chugoku who which are at level 4 like these are the closest one to getting the next urban center so we need to work on that next retire the samurai the samurai are our ancient feudal hereditary warrior caste. For centuries they have fought for us and commanded our armies. But in the centuries of relative peace we have enjoyed, they have forgotten the ways of war and have become a burden to the state. And that is why we need to leave them behind. And what do you do? Well, first of all, the samurai must not be a powerful faction and they don't have to be part of our government, which is already completed. And at this point we have to build 185 buildings that are not barracks so that is something that we have to do build 185 buildings that are not barracks and after that what we need to do uh, basically this ties up to the event uh, because we're not expanding our barracks they're not needed anymore they've sat down for centuries and forgotten how to fight and then we need to change all of our armies to not have irregular infantry, infantry focus or cannon artillery. Now there's a plus and a minus here. Like I would go now and I'm just going to go to all of our troops and say that we want them to be line infantry. The reason why I want to do that is because this will start resupplying them with the weapons that we are producing and all of that. I would also like to change this to first aid here, but we're not going to do it now. We're going to do it when we need it. The other thing that I want here is to go with artillery, but we'll wait here. So we're going to spend some money on the upgraded armies. And as far as this event goes, we need a few more buildings to be built before we can go and choose something different. With this in mind, I would like to also construct, let's see, is it in development? No, I think it's part of this arms industry that we are going to construct cannons. So what I will do for now is that I will take this build menu and I will say to you that I want to pick the arms industry. I want to make two factories in Kanto. And we will prioritize them. And when we prioritize them, or when they are completed, I want them to be cannon producers. So, cannon producer will have Encanto. Good. So, that will be helping us move on from what we have already. 
Finally, restoration, the end of Sekoku, or the end of Sakoku. Pretty much opening our borders is the last thing that we have to do and we are working towards that. We're working towards getting migration controls and opening things up. We can adopt state Shinto as our state religion. Let's see, with the restoration of the imperial household to political power, it would be wise to integrate local beliefs into an official state religion, emphasizing the emperor's divinity. So let us do this as well. And with that, let's get this going. Now there's one thing that I want to do as soon as we have a bit more army. Maybe we'll even do it now. In order to become a great power, I've looked this for this for a while now, we have to force one of these states to support us. And right now, Italy has is the fifth, but is fairly strong. If we take a look at their diplomacy, Russia supports them or likes them a little bit. Austria is neutral, France and Germany don't like them, but though any of them like us, that is the question, let's see, where is it, diplomacy, so Russia is protective of us, France and Spain, they're okay, and so is Austria. You know what? We're just gonna try this, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, like how much power do they have? They have a lot of turmoil in their own land. They have a 169 flotillas. And they also have 146 armies. They definitely have a lot more troops than we do. But I'm hoping that if we're going with this, maybe we'll get some support our way. Though there's very little chance that people will do that. So Italy and even the Heavenly Kingdom will join them in this. Oof, this could be very difficult to fight. Great Britain, Russia, Spain, Austria. Like let's let's take a look at the Heavenly Kingdom. The Heavenly Kingdom does not like us. That is for sure. I mean we made them our enemies. Russia has amicable relations with them. And the rest of the world don't hate them that much. There's a problem because they have 577 troops. Let's take a look at the other ones. France is not friends with anyone. Germany... Ooh. Germany, but Germany has 400 troops. France has 200. Germany is ranked number one in power. Okay. Let's see if we can make France recognize us. Yep. It's a risk that I am willing to take right now. Let's see, is anything going anywhere? The target is cocky. <laughs> French confidence is cocky, okay? Can we do anything here? Like, can we... Forming alliance doesn't seem to be... We're trying to bond with Austria, but they're not joining us. Yeah, not a whole lot of things that we could do. But they're not getting any kind of support either. Target maneuvers. Like, can I click? Oh, offer obligations. It would not convince them. I see. So we have some maneuvers that we could offer to them in order to bring them towards us. But they are not really interested in it. Offer obligations. I will try. Don't know if it's gonna work or anything. 
Probably not. Okay, they will not, because they don't really have a preference towards us. Okay, we shall see how this goes. We might pay a huge price there, but we're gonna try it either way. Let's see. Okay, we're building more buildings here. They've declared to be neutral. Pretty much everyone is declaring themselves to be neutral. And we have now a war with France. And we should see what's going to happen. It seems like they're war support is going down faster than us but they have 222 flotillas don't know how that will work as the special privilege of the samurai class diminish their special right to carry swords as a status symbol has been called into question it's time for the right to be abolished i get a lot of radicalism between servicemen and officers and they lose more political strength once again, the right could be extended to other citizens of status, making the upper strata become more loyal, or let them keep their swords. You know what? I'm okay with it, especially as we are going to war. Inactive trade routes, yeah, some, these have stopped. These are not producing us any more money. Let's see. Questionable practices. Released patients from the Edo Asylum have steadily denounced the practices involved in their supposedly medical treatment. Mistreatment of the sick, withholding of personal letters and disproportionate punishments were among the charges. Sure, let's make sure that we're taking care of this even if we're going to spend some money doing it. Unproductive trade routes, yeah, I do not want to do any of those. Okay, it seems that their war support is going down a lot quicker than for us. Now, who knows what else might be influencing this war, but I'm hoping that if they land on our land, we are going to be able to attack them. We get some sunken... Convoys. Yeah, so our convoys are raided. It's fine. Let's just pay attention to things. It seems like their war support keeps going down. What do we have here? So capitulate, mobilize all... Oh, and this, we pick our war goal. Unpressed war goal, or we can do this. They will not accept at this moment. But as their war support goes down, we might just be able to do it. Import route for artillery, our convoys are sunk. A hostile admiral sunk zero of our convoys. You know, this is the good thing about us being just on our island. It's good that we left the Russian market. Or maybe it would have been better if we didn't because we would have gotten the support from Russia just because they're in our market. Maybe. People in living in Shikoku under dire conditions are afraid that the migration control reform will increase competition in the job market. No, it's unfortunate we have a setback here, but we should be still be good. Okay, their war support is going down and quickly. War exhaustion from casualties, perfect timing for us.
barracks, okay. And we have these conscription centers. I'm not sure that we need them to be online infantry as well. But maybe we will. Sure, let's make this happen as well. How close are we to retiring them? Well, with a few more buildings apparently, we might be able to do it. Two hundred and seventy-three of our convoys have been sunk. Yeah, a recently published article has debated whether Japan's future lights after the end of Sakoku, weighing the benefits of aligning with other Asian countries or turning to the United States and the European powers. I don't think we stand with Asia anymore. So let's look towards the Western powers. Maybe like this we'll receive a bit more support in the future. There's zero access in Micronesia, Japanese North Island, East Micronesia, yeah, a few other places just because we are being, our convoys are being sunk. A lot of our convoys are being sunk. But so far so good. Like, look at this. Some are dead, some are wounded. But it's mostly ships. Yeah, Japanese shipping lanes. Maybe we get recognized after this. Isolate, isolated state regions, yeah, we know about that. I mean, if this is the way it's going, then maybe pretty soon we'll become recognized. What else do we have here? Low market, insufficient taxation, yeah we know about that. We could bring a few more generals. Let's recruit the generals now. Tactful bandit, experienced defensive strategist and a mountain. Okay, supply requisition. I do like this one. I like both of them. Offensive planner and reserved. You are not that great. He's just sinking our convoys, which is bad definitely for certain regions, but other than that he's not really doing a lot. Size of French loans, plus 59. And turmoil in France. I see. Well, we'll see if we manage to make it happen. The only thing I was basing our situation on is that France is far enough and they have plenty of problems to where they don't worry about us yet. It almost feels like it's paying off. Now we're working to add more railways. No, we're working to add rice farms. Livestock and then we're continuing our railway construction. Oh, we're getting ready. So what happened here? There is a proposed peace deal in a war that you are part of and it will be rejected or accepted depending on the responses of all negotiating participants, okay? If you are ne the negotiating, okay, so peace deal has been proposed. Let's click to open the war plan panel, which is this one. Current peace deal proposed by France. Recognize Japan. Current peace deal. Japan forces France to remove the unrecognized status of Japan. France force... Japan forces, uh, no, France forces Japan to cede the treaty port in the Kyushu state region. No party agrees to this peace deal. Okay. 
Okay, so... What is this exactly? Because I don't get it. I'm trying to get it, so I'm just gonna try to read through. So, we have gone forward with this proposition, and they have proposed... that Japan, that we force France to remove the unrecognized status of Japan and France forces us to see the treaty port in the Kyushu state region. Is that something, is that the proposal? Because I don't see why this is the case. Oh, we have to click no, we do not have to click. Let's see, click to change our response. Either we agree on this or we don't. I do not agree. I will not agree to give them a port. He's not in a position to where he can do that, I feel. Minority employment block stopped or it's up for the bosses, sure. It's up for the bosses to decide, we'll leave it at that for now. Foreign fates. The suggestion of migration controls have caused debate among Shinto monks about whether immigrants will share the uniquely Japanese state, Japanese religious sensibilities. Yeah, we will accept everyone. I know we're making the priest mad, but we can't do anything about that. And let's just say that they serve their purpose there. Propose a peace deal. So did we, did we became recognized and lost a port? Because I do not know exactly what we chose there. And that music didn't sound like we won or something, but we have become now a major power. Let's see, if I click on this, does it show France through here? Hmm. I do not know exactly what happened there. I'm hoping that we didn't give them a port, but either way we are now a major power, which means that we should be able to make a few more things happen. Now, if I take a look at the Heavenly Kingdom here, and we're taking a look at their relationship. They're amicable with Russia. Korea is... are they still? They're still a tributary of the Great Qin. Which they don't have a lot of power anymore. I feel like we're gonna go to war here to liberate them or to do certain things. Okay. Well, let's continue over here. I don't see that we've given France any ports. So I think we're good. Okay, let's take a look at research. What are we going to go for next? Automatic irrigation for coffee plantations and a few other things. Repeaters, okay. Breach loading artillery. Plus 20 conscripts. Triage, mobilization goods requirements, okay. Trench works. Floating harbor, self propelled torpedoes. Now, there are a lot of stuff here that would be useful. Let's get the camera first, trying to increase that prestige up. We are now a major power because we are recognized. 
and we need to focus on the future. Okay, let's continue our restoration around here. Make Puppet, make Dominion. Regime change. Or we could go for trying to conquer some states, right? Okay. Uluru, what's your diplomacy situation? Not that great. Do you have warriors? You have zero armies. New South Wales, what is your diplomatic situation? Nothing special. You know what I'll, I'm thinking? Three battalions. I feel like we're about to go to war. Military. We have two. Let's recruit a general here. We have one from the peasant. A reserve offensive. Or a samurai. How powerful are the samurais within the government? Because we're trying to retire them, right? They have some power. But they're not powerful. They're not at 20%. Let's see. If I come here to New South Wales. You don't have any access to the market. There's not a whole lot that you could say about this territory. We're not getting a lot out of it. But there are some gold fields. And their population 155. It's not great. Let's see, if I right click here. No, there's no treaty port that we could take. Hunker state. It would give us 6, 7.3 infamy. Which would reduce our relation a little bit with these countries. Let's confirm. Let's see what happens. And we'll add another war goal here. To conquer a state. Let's see. New South Wales. So there's two of them. This would give us even more infamy. Western Australia and North Island. I wonder like how much infamy does that count for? If we do this, and we need to mobilize our armies, I feel like that is the case, right? So mobilize all generals, resulting in a total of 45 battalions that will begin mobilization, increasing the cost currently, okay. Yeah, we'll mobilize this too. Advance the front, we'll bring them here. And we'll advance this front as well. Okay. So we're starting, we're beginning this conflict early on. It will take some time until they reach. Trade agreements broken, Russian-German rivalry declared, and a few other things. Okay, sure. Now where are we at? Russia, do, can I improve relations with you? Yes, I can. I think I would like to improve relations with the Heavenly Kingdom just because I'm going to go for the for Qing. The US is not really a power, I would say. Let's... I guess we can't do anything more than that. We're just gonna focus on these ones to begin with. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna get some troops here soon. And we're gonna see how war is played. Can declare more 
See, declared interest, we already have interest in this area. We can choose to a maximum of three. So let's choose Papua and maybe this side of Burma. For part of this territory. We'll go south here and let's say that we have some interest there as well. Expensive goods, tools, explosive clippers and glass. So that's what we're working towards here. Let's take a look at the market. We're losing some money right now. Yeah. Let's take a look at the exports. And let's see what we could export for good money. Like, what do we have? We have very few convoys available because plenty of them got sunk and we are working towards reconstructing them. Oil industry? Sure, seems like we have a few that catch a good price. Grain? This one probably will work as well. Okay. Is this the war done? Feels that way, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. Are we still at war or has that been it? Truces. Okay. So that is a bit weird how it goes there. Let's see, conquer state. 5.18 for me. Maybe we do not want to push it that badly. Let's see, government. Where would it be? In our diplomacy? We're a major power. We have some interest like we're working towards the rest yeah i'm not sure exactly what we're working towards here but apparently the battle is over there let's take a look at the market prices that we have right now what is very expensive? Coffee is expensive, explosives are expensive and apparently are needed, especially for our industry, right? Yeah, there's a high need for coal, tools, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm not, where should we, like, could I create a market? Like, if I go to the Heavenly Kingdom here, and I open Diplomacy. Propose a trade agreement or join a customs union. We need to have relations at least cordial. Okay. The Shinto monks are no longer influential and they're marginalized. Really? Well, why cannot can I not bolster them? I think we're bolstering someone else, right? Oh, the trade unionists have come to power. Quite a bit. No matter how much we're trying to stop them, they're gonna be there. We're gonna increase the Shinto monks. Okay. Secession movement possible in these areas of Australia and stuff. Do they still have no access to the markets? No, we're good. Let's get ourselves something else. We could go for nitroglycerin here. Which would add a lot of cash because dynamite is expensive. But before going forward... Let's see, if I take a look at 
the chemical plants. Let's go up to six here. And we'll also need some sulfur mines, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I will do now is I'm going to change the priority in this construction area. And we'll push sulfur first, actually chemical first and then sulfur. Because sulfur is cheaper, we're still working towards enacting the migration controls. We're losing a lot of cash. I could go higher in taxes. Let's see, what else? Patronize the realist artist. Building an art academy and we need to bring it to level 5. Public trading, okay. What else? So we're still working on urbanizing. Currently 184 out of 192 fulfill this requirement. I think that... These buildings, like if we go to military and having you to line infantry, I feel like that might be just a bit too much. Though it's just a conscription office, maybe it's not. Okay, so I need to change this to something else, let's see. Frustrated with the lengthy process surrounding the migration controls, Shigeto Osumi of the Petite Bourgeoisie has approached us with an offer. Reduce enactment time? Sure. And let's see, like if I go to barracks here and I'll say mobile... If we do this, we're gonna lose once again a lot of money. But is this enough? Philosophy... Pragmatism, minus 5 bureaucracy, population cost multiplier, and 10% influence. Like, let me take a look here. Apparently that did work to retire the samurais. But we're losing a lot more money now because we're also bringing in cannons. And cannons are expensive because we have a shortage of, like we produce some. But now let's go back to infantry focus, at least on a few of them. We leave two... Four. We'll start with four for now. Let me go higher in taxes here, just so we don't lose a lot of money yet. Where do we get our infamy from? There's a lot of information that I do not know exactly where it is at this moment. Japan has succeeded in reforming the armed forces and putting an end to the backward system of feudalism. The samurai warrior caste seemingly no longer have a place within our modernized society. Let them keep their status as officers and nobles. Reduce weekly innovation gain multiplier for military and they lose the bafku ideology or the era of the samurai are over. They become more radical. They still lose the ideology and their leader seems to go with seppuku. Or something. How strong? They still hold some power, so radicalizing them wouldn't necessarily be great. But I feel like we could go through this. Rather than stopping innovation, yeah, we'll be able to keep this going. We now have a new faction. We have the armed forces instead of the Japanese samurais. Sure. No, not suppressing. I wanted them to be bolstered. So bring back the priests. Okay. Okay. Stop the press. 
A newspaper banned under Japanese law has started being printed again under the permissive laws of New South Wales and smuggled across the border. We can look the other way to improve relations. Nope, let's crack down on it. Low market access, not that much. Secession movement possible, so there are a few areas that want to break off. Franco-Canadian, okay. The price of clippers. We should really focus on that as soon as we can here, right? Yeah, we're working for the dynamites just so we can make more cash. But afterwards we need to start focusing on producing some other goods. Like, let me take a look here. Like, we lost one of the isles here from Kanak. He's improving relations with us, but that's not what I want. What I truly want from you. Is to take this territory. What's this? So begin improving, expel diplomats, take on debt. He's cordial right now, so that's why. Make into a protectorate, he doesn't want it. Form an alliance, take a debt, let's see. If I expel their diplomats. It will increase our infamy. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to break relation and take that coffee back from them. Let's see, Papua. We can colonize it. Sure. You will lose all progress in the states, including... Oh, no. So we're colonizing that. We can colonize Tidor as well. What is this territory? What does it have a bunch of plantations overall and rubber okay we can establish at least one more yes so we're gonna go towards that we're gonna use the colonizations that we still have active input goods shortage okay so we need to make more cannons Let's make sure that the industry in Kanto keeps growing. Pump jacks. Now we can get automatic irrigation. Like, what would that mean for a rural development? Automatic irrigation, it would cost us engines in order to produce dye. And apparently we would make more money out of it. Sure. I mean, the price of engines can't go any higher for the dye plantations here. We'll change one of them at least. Tea plantation. Apparently we would still make a lot of money. But tanking the price doesn't seem like the right way to go. Okay. Okay. Tobacco plantations, once again, let's wait until the price increases and see what is the actual price that we are going to get. Okay. Banana production. Still a good price. Silk plantations. Apparently the silk plantations would not work in the same manner. Electric sawmills. Okay, need more electricity, definitely. Steam donkeys. Let's see, what else do we have here? Pretty much it. Substance orchards apparently are pretty much out of business. Substance farms are still there. Urban centers. Don't need more services. Look at this. If we upgrade all of them, the price of electricity will go up, but the price of coal will go down and we will save a lot of cash from it. It almost seems like it's a bit much, but somehow it seems like it's gonna produce money. A 
I think like this will destabilize the market just enough to where it's not that great, but hey. Okay, we can pay some money here and apparently it would help us reduce the price of artillery. Let's make sure that we keep upgrading this too. Okay, and we need more electricity. And we're gonna make two in Shugoku, two in Shikoku, two in Tohoku, and we'll expand in Hokkaido as well. And then I'm gonna go to construction here, previous page, and I'll say to you... Please construct... The power plants. Bureaucratic... Okay, so what's happening now? Yeah, let's not lose some of the success chance. I need more bureaucracy. And soon. Okay, where are we now with Nauru? Still damaging relations. These areas are in turmoil, but hopefully we'll be able to integrate them soon. Japanese market has decreased its prices, good. Still a huge price for coffee, we're gonna improve our electricity. And we'll need to make a lot of tools too. Tools, engines, pretty much how this goes. Yeah, so upgrading like this entire industry does not seem to have worked, as he says, or the entire rural area, right? Still says that it would give us some money, but it's not the same. Still, it seems like they're making a profit. Now with you... I would really like to declare sort of an independence here. Or conquer some states. The Great Chin has some armies but they're not that great. This guy is an unrecognized major power, so I'm guessing that allying up to him is better. There's a countdown to war. Belgium, it seems like they're trying to declare their independence there. Germany, are you still number one? Yes, he is. Scandinavia. could also de open some diplomatic channels to them, like the US is an insignificant power. Okay. Now let's take a look at our journal here. Five, six of them have now increased their urban sizes to enough, like five here. Five here. Okay, so now we need to focus on Tohoku and or Hokkaido. Come on, give me a good chance here. It did not happen. Emperor intervenes. Sure. Let's try to get this going, even if the others do not like it. Now, why are you in turmoil? That is the big question. Let's say information, or no, population, right? 
they're impoverished. But I see that most of the people are okay. I mean, they have their needs fulfilled. But they're discriminated, I'm guessing, right? So if I take a look at laws, national supremacy is one of the things that we're working towards. Or that we have implemented and maybe we have to go the other way where we're like, okay, it's okay to be a bit more open. Let's get this authority. We shall see if we'll stay with multinationalism or we'll do something else. Okay. Now, overall, I feel like we're doing pretty okay. We started getting back our convoys. Let's take a look at the market. Sell grain. Let's sell it to the Ch Qing market, maybe the Russian market too. What next? Services we can't sell, we can sell some fish, sulfur or fertilizers. The French market would like some sulfur, so let's do that. High tension between Japan and the Swilesi people, somewhere in here. Yeah, we're trying to expand slowly. Okay, we gain more electricity. Probably should start constructing like more of these motor industries rather than the railways at this point. I'm gonna stop building the railways. Okay. Revoke Spanish claims. Crush Benin's secession. Okay. So that's a different war. And what should we build going forward? What are we missing mostly? Proposal for trade agreement with Russia. Yes, I would like that. So we need tools, we need clothes, we need coal and more transportation and paper. Okay, so we'll start with tools. And where are we? Tool workshop. Let's make it in Tohoku. I'm going to make four levels of this. Textile mills. Do I want to expand it in Kanto? Sure. Let's try to attract some of more people here. The next one was coal. We're going to resources then. We have gold, more gold mines. Let's put down more gold mines and then we're gonna add more coal. Both there and up here. Repeaters have been unlocked. Automatically, sure. Artillery are expensive, so we need to work on that as well. But we have this going already. Really good prices on the tools. Okay, so large number of Australian people have begun migrating to their state counties. Home counties, okay. Conquer state. Do they have any kind of relation that matter here? Great dividing range. A bit with France, but nothing else. Let's see. 
do they have like multiple states here yeah northern territory south australia okay we'll not go to war just yet we're just gonna wait a second here and also paper seems to be glass paper are in huge demand or expensive goods paper good and some glass works we're gonna upgrade it in kanto and we'll stay at that okay let's make sure that we're building some ports here as well because they don't have access to the market mostly because they don't have a port right and in order to improve the situation we'll do that and the price of clippers is also high and why is that because we haven't changed yet we're producing steamships can i do this in one shot before we close this episode down ports Industrial ports would go to would leave the clippers and we'd go to steamers, which would increase the price, but we can do that and in price of coal would add as well. They say that we do not have enough qualification to fully stop the port. I do not care, we're gonna try it. almost feel like we're doing like this wild kind of changes pan nationalism which would give us more authority soon and let's see what else are we going to work towards it's a bit weird that we're getting very close to <laughs> to the end of research Pneumatic tools, three years to get more resource discovery and get extra efficiency on our construction sectors. Sounds pretty cool to me. Price of engines have gone up. Let's take a look now at our industry here. Is it starting to produce? Yes, starting to make good money. And look at this. I guess the price of coal and engines have gone up, but the price of steamers is fairly stable. Sell more of these to the Russian market? Sure. Clippers. Are we still producing clippers? We're gonna leave it at that. Raising concern. The intelligentsia have expressed their concern. Sure. What is this? So they are really trying to break. Chiang Mayan proletarian revolt. Where are you? Over here. Oh, and we can either support it or go against it. I do not care. Let's see. Where are we now? We're about to finish this. I'll prioritize the port so I don't forget. Yep, and that's going to be it for today. Now we're making steps towards the major restoration. One of the big hurdles for today was the fact that we did not manage to 
successfully implement migration controls even though we had a decent chance in the beginning but we're getting there now and also we need to urbanize one more of these centers but we're getting there as well and tomorrow hopefully the major restoration will be completed which will give us more strength as we are trying to get closer to number one until then Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.